All right. Long I have, oh. ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams. No, nope, this is the too power calm. Of randomness was celebrated by all. Those really? with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest is it D &D? would challenge each other in games of chance. Is it? Epic tournaments in which their very lives would hang in the balance. That sounds horrible. Nat 20. Alright, so I have my goggles on and I'm ready to play. My name is Sloth154 and welcome to Lost in Randomness. I almost forgot the name of this. Get the dice energy. All right, we are jumping right into energy, this. Fortune. Oh yes. Give me your souls. Can I just? Two. Oh. <laughs> Give me a D20 here and I'm God. Oh, <laughs> I feel good about this. Get out of the way. Oh, why don't you have your own dice? Give me a D20. That's some randomness. Actually, a D100. I don't mean the little one. I mean, I actually have a D100 dice. Was in the era of the oh, dice and that one. Sorry. And like all eras, it too would come to an end, fading into legend and mystery. Yes, I decided to play Our this game. It begins later in one growth. Honestly, just give me a D20, I can destroy the world. Entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. The D20 is fair. Attention, Warners! I'm the queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! Six. See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the queen's dream palace for the rest of my- Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. <laughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised mom and dad to get you home. The queen! It's the queen! Hey, was that really necessary? Come yes. On, hurry up. Most likely the really queen will kill you. This seems like a very <laughs> autocristic person. Top of that shouldn't be moving like that. Why is the metal structure moving like it's flesh? Odd, wait! Stay behind me, sis. We've got to run home and hide. Now! Day of the dice. Follow Odd. Woohoo! We're your subjects, Your Majesty. Why are you tormenting us? Did someone steal your cake? Helping us. This. Come on, let's get out of here. Random rules. Random rules. Random rules. That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. 
Nanny Fortuna is a big and head. So the queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice, which would reveal to them their place in the world of hey random. Guys, check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh, it's uh, an old crawl space. It works for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Not really. It's a one-six it's chance. Easy for all of you to do what she says, since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their new Ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dice has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. Yeah, that sounds like an autocrat, and those never end well. Historically. Even odd. Where have you been? Neutral. Been worried sick. Neutral Sorry, Dad, dead. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. <laughs> Are we gonna fars or sneeze? Happy birthday. <laughs> sneeze. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. <sighs> oh, <fuck. laughs> And the queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, is she random a goblin? prevails, and random rules. Random rules. Be grateful, dice child, is loaded. that the queen herself is here for your special day. A step on me. I shouldn't have let that out. I know who's out with me. Don't I? God damn it, why is he with us? Now roll the dice and let's see what kind of person you truly are. A one. To <gasps> wait? A six. It had been settled. At least, she'll be a sixer. What? Even! Oh, no! Stop it! No, even And so, Fog's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen up in the Sixer's palace, where it was said all dreams came true. They're most but likely going to die. Nightmare was just beginning. Don't. Oh, we're gonna be a one. I mean, it's not too bad. We moved into the upper district, but you know, hard to have your child taken. It's a weird dream sequence. I'm coming for you, sis. Hold on, Odd. Oh, well, that's weird. Odd, I'm I'm gonna find you, okay? Tell me where you are, Odd. Help me find you. Well, I don't think it's hard to find the Queen's Odd. Palace. My theory is people are dying up there. Well, this is nightmare food.
More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Are we living? Are we sleeping in a matchbox? Even knew she was now awake and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her a portrait of Uncle Jinx. Okay. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas and then drowned in the eighth. Ah. Huh. Interrupted the narrator. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive, but none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. Yeah, I could play any instrument instrument if I don't have to An play image well. Of great, great, great grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before apparently. then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. Yeah, that's how it happened. Someone decided to slice their bread and sell it as such, and you will find that everywhere in America. Everywhere. We don't fucking pay. We don't spend extra cash to slice our own bread. An image of great-great-grandfather Peter's 200 years ago. He ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed... What? That was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. What the fuck was the bet for? Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen. She had eyes and ears everywhere. Okay. Odd shoes. Little parts of her life still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by Ethan. She never wanted to forget her sister. These paintings showed stories Ethan's mother told her were safe to share. Oh. Because they were true. Well, so she said... Well, the queen but says the, story the truth. Of the card makers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. Because they don't want to lose another kid, which they might. Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy dreams keep us sane and pass down our history oh it was still very late or was it very early and even didn't want to wake her parents as someone who work who worked the who's work who works the job i can tell you it's the same damn thing doesn't matter it's the same the thing the scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who ventured too far from home. Even was too old to believe in such stories, or at least that's what she told herself. <laughs> I still check the corners in my room. Oh, that's a ghost. Yeah, I think Odd's Even dead. stared at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. Even know. She oh, wait. Had they probably go. don't have education. She had to know. Yeah, uh, so basic education for a society like this will be should be paramount, but you know autocrats don't want the people to have power So education takes a full-blown back burner to fuck that you glowing figure seemed to keep its distance from even Well, I did when shoot she it got closer. It moved further away. It was leading her To her doom 
Hi. How you been? Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? Oh, Funny so it like is late. the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go with this one. Oh, darling. You're thinking oh. about your sister, aren't you? I Constantly. feel you, child. I do. But she's been gone now a year. I need to get past you, actually, ah, please. That spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. Does she not have legs? I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right. I'll get out of your way. All right. But don't tell your parents you saw me. Deal? Deal. You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. No promises. Which way? Not that way. This way. Wait up, please! Wait up! This was Wongroft, the world in which Even and her small family live. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. The all fuck is that? Paper, was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Yeah. I mean, having a oh, cast, hit it. it's right there. a cast system He's like this. Trying, Lucky. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? No, I snuck out. Honestly, even, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Never thought you had it in you to break a precious rule. Don't be mean, Lucky. I'm not mean. That was a compliment. What the hell is that on his cool, chin? Even, even if you should listen to your parents more, my parents say listening to them is the coolest thing of all. You guys your parents. are so touchy. Um, why are you out so late? I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. He's gonna I'll be, be a one. Bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Well, that's how. I'm just gonna tell don't be a jerk. Listen. Even, it takes two to be a jack. One to be the jack, and the other to be an even bigger jack by pointing it out. Nope, that's not how that works. Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? You really? grew up in the slums. How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... You meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? I think I'll know more soon. Oh, that's mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. I don't feel like it. That probably belongs to someone. No. Because that's going to come back to bite me in the butt. I know it. Let the ghost go. Never mind, that's how I get money. I wanted 
no problem. That was amazing, Ethan. Hey, shut up. Huh. So will the currency be different in each uh, region? Because right now we're in the ones. Oh, that's the way to our house. Hmm. All right, let's go look for the ghost. This does look, I like the style of this. Reminds me of Tim Burton. Spurred by a remarkable dream, even searches her house for something and soon she found it. The toy she given odd on her birthday. On that horrible day, she was taken away. Left for her by a strange and glowing figure. Even knew two things. First, this was entire this entity was somehow connected to Odd. Secondly, that she never forgive herself if she didn't follow. Ooh. Hello, senior catfish. You seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> A ghost. Ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall. Yep. She's in the queen's care now, kiddo. There's what does that any mean? Of us can do. That's what you think. That it is. That it is. But I didn't get this far by chasing after ghosts, and I recommend you do the same. Even. Listen. Go on home. I will be as self-destructive as possible if it means I get my goal. No one can really stop me. Oh, there's the ghost. Come here, Mr. Ghost. I have questions. There. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Halt! None shall enter the docks tonight. By order of Her Majesty. Uh, random rules. Random rules. You can't be here, little girl. All right. And still, this change then. Find the ghost. Whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Most likely to learn some horrible truth. Where to find dot? Well, he looks suspect. Random rules, even. Random rules. Random well. rules. Well, well, well. Oh, he's a creep. Look at you. What about me? So far from home and all alone. I also got a knife You're on me. Lucky the queen is looking out for you, child. You've heard the good news, haven't you? No. Enlighten me. The queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. The hell I will. Along with her because you know her rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> God, you don't have to be so creepy about this. And that's good news? She's never wrong. She makes the rules. Random rules. And they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me. Up riding a shining spider stallion. Notices my love for her. Notices my worship. Okay. Really love the queen. More than life. 
I just want to be her. Oh, to be with her, I mean. Oh. To feel her hand on my head and know she judged me and found me good. It would completely destroy me. I'd love every minute of it. Right, One just... town was unique. Yeah, it was. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seem to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home, the only home even had ever known. All right. Big city life. I must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So, you ever wonder what life's like in the other zone? Um... Why? I wasn't born here, you know. I was born in Forberg. <laughs> Only I turned 12 and the queen came and made me rule. Rolled myself for one. She told me I was born in the wrong town, and now I'm here. Okay. And I'll never get back there again. I'm sorry. That's just the way things are. In a way, she saved me from the misery of Forberg. It's not what it used to be. It doesn't have to be equal to be fair. It's what my mom it does always used have to, to say. be equal to be fair. Before she, and before I, well, it's uh, ancient history now. The queen works in mysterious ways, and it's up to us to follow her rules, random rules. I still remember how I felt rolling that dice, knowing what was about to happen. And when it landed on one, gosh. <sighs> I don't think it's the sort of thing I'll ever forget. I bet not. Have you seen a ghost? By the dice, I'm haunted enough already. I don't need more of them. See you around, kid. Yeah, you too. Hopefully that cough isn't serious. All right, let's keep following the ghost. Oh look, we're at the outskirts. Oh look, a swing. like any of this that strange figure even knew that her fate was changing that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time all right i thought those were it does twitch that would have ran away well We ran away from home. Huh. That's weird. Why does that look like it has an eye? Why does it look like it has hands? Check the corners. Clear the corners. Oh, three-sided die. No, wait, four. No, five. Card maker. Mysterious playing cards. These playing cards are beautiful, are beautifully painted, and in some angles, they seem to glow a faint blue. 
pips. <laughs> some curious little pip creatures on two legs hopping around in a glass jar. All right. Even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. Into the darkness. Oh, we made it to the port. The harbor. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before. Or Sneak past she was the red getting lights. on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. Some nice cards you have there, kiddo. Hey, Snake you Eyes. Find them yourself? Yeah, I don't really know much well, about them. Heck, well, let me take a look. <laughs> maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Sure. Well, look at these. Oh, these used to be everywhere, you know that? Oh, folks did trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got them straight from the factories in five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. Of course, it was before the war. A lot changed that night. Oh. We're still dealing with the consequences. Were you on the winning side or losing? Yeah, look around you, Missy. This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be either. The Queen, she distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into, uh, into whatever this is now. The most don't remember it. Only me, it feels like sometime. I think everyone else died. Go even go. All right. I got a storybook page. Position three.
I'm gonna get this storybook page first. So I'm gonna get this storybook page, then I'll come back to you guys. I'll see you soon. All right, I got the storybook page. No problems. Sorry, what? Now, go away. Herman. Who are you and why are you still in the way? Who are you barging in here demanding who I am? I'm even. Oh, I'm even too. Even less interested in letting you in. Now leave. This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber. My realm of adlubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. <laughs> what? I mean, something <laughs> exactly. that's delightful. Like my room here. I... I... Wow. You really are just a kid, huh? I'm an adult and I don't know that well, word. Well, guess means. what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. But there are no other there spots. There are no. Oh, come on. There's got to be other spots. Go find them. Please, Herman. My sister's in trouble. I have to get aboard oh, this for the love of, uh, Fine. Fine. You little, little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Thank you. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. Okay, y'all, Grump. I'm about to break rule one and two. Now, don't make me regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet-like and don't do anything. All right. Shh, shh, quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three. Yep. I'd like to know more about my partner yeah, in crime. Look, I'll tell you what. Just hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find Miss Adensy. I'm headed for the cardmaker district, uh, Five Tropolis, or whatever the queen's calling it these days. And. Why Tropolis? Hey, kid, or he'll ruin the whole thing. Just. Just, just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. All right. Things first. Oh. A long time ago. A long ago. time ago, oh. in random, dice were everywhere and used to decide everything, wondering what to wear. What to create? Who to become? Any question, as long as it could be answered with a number, could be found by the spark of magic contained within the dice. And the king and queen of random were, well, decent to good. Life was wild. Life was free. Life was random. Okay. When they were ready, Oh, when they were brave enough, the most courageous and random would embark on a great adventure, making their way to the Valley of the Dice. There, in that sacred place, they would choose the dice that they would carry with them for the rest of their lives. Although, 
Some would whisper that the choice wasn't fully theirs to make. All right. That's a good, that's weird. Let's go to sleep. I'll the end this. The moment she'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Odd was the only so thing that mattered. your parents didn't matter. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber. All right, another dream. Ethan, I'm, here. I'm coming. We got to make our way to the Valley of Dice. Ethan, you found me. Ethan. Stay right there. I'm coming. Weird. Hello, Even. You're home. It's where you belong. What's There's wrong? No time. No time. No time. A wanna is a wanna. Is a wanna is a wanna. When you're right, you're right. Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea? I don't want Why to. Why do you need to see her? We've seen her before. Listen to your mother, even. It's, it's not safe. We need to go. It's a world out there. Listen to your mother, even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever, even. Oh. We'll always be here, even. You'll always be her, even. Her desires are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The queen will find you. Weird. Very weird. know where they belong if you didn't hoard all the dice actually stop them from finding their wake own up, dice wake up girl no 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 this whole time ship's falling apart today's a difficult day for you herman wait what am i supposed to do take one of these bad boys the animal that was pulling it has even lost sight of Herman she realized she'd also lost sight of her last connection to home okay still alive uh, I can work with that can you as long as I don't land on water I should be able to work with that 
<sighs> Find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Sixtown, but the wind and the fates had very different plans for her indeed. Where Navalia dies! Yeah! Place. All right, new quest. So I'm gonna end this episode here. This has been the first episode of Lost in Random, an autocratic world with a very odd caste system. Caste system, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, the caste system. We are playing as even, trying to find our sister Odd, and we will get our mystical, magical dice that it seems like everyone else just hasn't been able to get since the war so if you like this video comment like and subscribe it does help the channel check out the description i'll have a link to the playlist for this series and other games i played on my channel don't know what i'm going to put in the description yet and i have to keep the my uh what's it called my uh i got i just gotta keep him in check you know who you are so if you made this far in the video, Brian thanks you, and yeah, we'll see you next time.